nephew what's going on everybody it's your boy mr wolf and welcome back to another video man listen a lot of shit has happened over the past like couple of months type shit so i felt like you know i wanted to give you guys a little like quick little update let's see like see what's going on type shit so i'm gonna split this video into like segments so we're gonna go with like the gaming section the music section my life section and then we just gonna kind of like just keep going from there all right as far as the gaming section is concerned i've been playing a lot of games mostly most notably hades i don't know if y'all niggas know about hades but it's hailed to be one of like the best indie games of all time it's one of those games where it's like you keep like failing and like dying and shit and then like you kind of figure out the boss is like you know it's kind of like trial and error it's like you keep dying you keep getting powerful moves you keep on getting powerful as the game keeps on progressing and then one of those things where it's like like zelda or some shit like that like if you kind of like die you have to restart the whole entire fucking game type shit but you kind of keep getting new upgrades and new things to make yourself even stronger and it kind of lasts throughout the rest of your experience so it's one of those games and i've been enjoying it like i think it's a really solid ass game it has great music great voice acting the lore in it between like you know the main character and like his father is really fire the weapons and like even like the upgrades that you get is really cool it's a really dope ass game so like i recommend anybody who kind of like likes like one of those mindless games that you know if they want to shoot they want to like you know slay some demons or whatever if you guys like those games you, i think you'll enjoy hades i think hades is a definitely solid ass experience so far for me um another games i've been playing is persona 4 golden i just finished that i want to say thursday or friday i believe that game is really fire. Like, don't get it twisted. I still like five and three reloaded, but five golden, four golden is still a solid experience. I might have a little bit of trouble of like the writing. Marie's inclusion is a little bit weird. If you guys don't know Persona 4 Golden, it's made from Alice. It's a JRPG that came out all the way in PlayStation 2 from like 2008, but it got a re release for uh, Persona 4 Golden back in 2012 in, on the PS Vita. And then it was pretty much everywhere in like 2020, like it came PC, PS4, PS5, it was pretty much everywhere. Um, so it was an older game, so the writing didn't really like, you know, age all that well. And, you know, uh, I would say some of the inclusions of like the characters were a little bit, mm, you could definitely tell they're shoehorn. And then Teddy's really, really annoying, I'm not gonna lie to you. And then some of like, in retrospect, like the murder mystery stuff was cool, but in retrospect, it's one of those things I didn't really like care for like that. It was more so I cared about everyone's like inclusion like i would say like i cared about yosuke i cared about chie i cared about yukiko i cared about rise and uh kanji and of course nato which are like my favorite characters of the game i think it's probably my favorite cast because how to interact with one another like when you're like in high school and you're like doing a band when you guys are going skiing together or you guys are going to the beach or you guys are like you know making food together and like you know how everyone how everything feels so natural I love the dynamic of the group. I think that's one of my favorite aspects. Obviously, the music is fire. The gameplay and the dungeon crawling is also my least favorite. I don't really like the dungeon crawling like that. But it's one of those things that I was able to kind of get used to because, again, I love RPGs a lot. So it didn't really take me long to get from the next dungeon to the next floor type shit. So it, would, it didn't really matter. And then I feel like as the like as the game kept on progressing, the dungeons kept on getting better. So I wasn't really like pressed on it, but it was still one of those things that did annoy me. But it's still a solid game to it. Although it's not my favorite in the series, it can still stand on its own two feet, you know what I'm saying? I think it kind of gives me a lot of nostalgia vibes from like the music, from the small town vibe, because I do live in a small town in New York, um, to how I used to like be around people and how to interact with people when I was like 12, 13, 11. And like, you know, it just kind of brought me back to a, a younger time in my life, you know what I'm saying? Death Note, out of all the games, from like Seas to the Phantom Thieves and like the Investigation Team, I think the Investigation Team was really the most organic out of the bunch, out of the games I've played so far. So I really love Persona 4 Golden, and like, if you guys haven't played Persona 4 Golden, it's one of those things you definitely got experience, you know what I'm saying? Another game I've been playing is Persona 3 Reload, which I finished about like a month ago now. I finished that around back in March. And that game was really, really fire as well too. It's definitely on par with me as far as like Persona 5 is concerned. The ending was really fire. I'm not gonna spoil that shit. I'm gonna keep it really spoiler free. So if anyone wants to play the game, I will not spoil any plot, major events and things of that nature. So, um, yeah, you know, like, Persona 3 Reload is definitely much more of a darker game than Persona 4. Um, you know, you're playing as, like, this apathetic person named Makoto, Yuri, and, you know, you're, you're joining this uh, Seas team where you're trying to, like, eliminate all the 12 shadows and shit like that. And, you know, you kind of, like, meet people while you're at school, Junpei, Yukari, uh, Misaru, and uh, Akihiko. And, you know, you kind of, like, you know, build this group over time. Now, one thing I like about this game 
that is over the other games is the character development because these characters kind of go through their own pain and tragedy and strife and they kind of like learn how to get through it they kind of you know bond together and like know how to like you know kind of embrace their tragedy and embrace their flaws and just kind of like with persona 4 um but again it takes much more of a darker tone this time um so i really enjoy the dynamic of seas as well too i love how everyone kind of finds their resolve on to keep on living and not fearing death and not fearing you know the days that's gonna come before you i think the social links are really fire tartarus kind of got on my nerves a little bit i'm not gonna lie because it did get tedious after a while but it wasn't nearly as bad as like persona 4 for persona 4 as far as gameplay probably the worst of the bunch but persona 3 with the you know added you know ui the music you know disturbing the piece is fire as fuck get ready. Disturbing the piece. It was like a nice surprise to just kind of like see the ui and like see like the whole raw presentation and be like a nice little like refresh after, after i played persona 5 like some years back so yeah it's still a great game as well too that will last you about like 90 to 100 hours same thing with persona 4 is big time sinks so if you want to get into persona just know that these are long ass games so you're gonna have to dedicate some time into it but if you do stick around for the gameplay stick around for the story stick around for the gameplay stick around for the character developments because i'm telling you it's like a whole fucking story it's a whole fucking movie with those games and you really want to see like again i'm trying to keep it super super spoil free but this game really rooted root itself in this story so you gotta like play it and just take my word for it but outside of that those are all the games i've been playing so far nothing really new i know final fantasy remake uh front of uh, rebirth hat came out and i haven't played that game yet i know tekken 7 or tekken 9 or 8 hat came out so i want to play that i know the yakuza series since i'm done with the persona game series i really want to play that so we'll see how things go from there you know what i mean let's go to music real quick i've been bumping bryson tiller's new album uh which is just you know self-titled which i really really love i think bryson tiller is one of my favorite artists from like the early like the mid 2010s and the fact they came back you know i've been a big top bryson tiller fan he actually liked my story which i thought was really really fire because i reshared one of his posts he has been very consistent like you know doing the tiller tuesdays you know kind of like you know doing these little midnight surprise drops on his soundcloud it's been really cool and i i thoroughly enjoy the project i think it's a really nice blend of like r&b soul uh, he, his singing is really good on this album as well too, and his rapping as well too. He actually plays around with a little bit of some like some dance hall, a little bit of like some Jersey as well too. So there's some Jersey dance as well too. So his genres kind of do vary, and the quality of the songs I will say do kind of vary because after maybe um, every one or two, three great songs off the project, you might get one that's a little bit and eh, like that's okay. I don't know if I'll listen to it again, but it's still a decent project, and I really do recommend if you're a Bryson Tiller fan or an R&B person that you really enjoy it. Uh, that you really listen to it. I've been listening to Sir's, um, which is really great. I, I love Sir's album. Sir has a really great uh, catalog. Uh, it's been a while since he had dropped, so I'm really glad that Sir came through and uh, dropped something uh, that was really uh, worth uh, talking about and that's like worth digesting. Just you know, it's much more of a darker album than his other projects. So if you guys don't know Sir, R&B artist from like TDE, so uh, yeah, Sir really did his thing on his newest project that he had came out. Heavy, heavy, it's a heavy project, heavy subject matter, but it's a really great project nonetheless. So I think you guys will really, really enjoy it if you guys haven't listened to it already. Obviously, the Drake and, and you know, Cole and Kendrick thing has been going on. You know, I know everything about that. The like that verse was really fire. You know, Cole dropping his Mike Delete Later thing, which I thought was a decent and good project. But then he dropped the uh, Seven Minute Drill, which he later removed because it didn't really feel in the spirit to, you know, drop a diss around Kendrick because that's rather that's someone the one that he likes and he respects which I appreciate because he was going out of his catalog you know saying things like oh you know typical butterfly niggas was seeping onto it and like kind of like dissing him but then also kind of complimenting him so it was kind of like a backwards type of thing it was really weird and he went on his Dreamville tour and it was like hey guys like I'm not really feeling it I, I don't want to you know go against my brother like I got a um, Shit that I gotta go on right now. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of corny. It's like the lamest shit I did in my career. So respect to J. Cole for him, like not wanting to do shit like with this kind of beef or whatever. But I will say it was a little bit like, all right, why the fuck did you do the beef then? You know what I'm saying? Like, why'd you do all of this shit just so like um, a couple days later you just say, hey, I'm not doing it. This did Kendrick scare you that much? But let me not, you know, do that because I really love J. Cole and I respect J. Cole for what he did. Man of him, I will say I respect, but the artist in me was disappointed because I really wanted to see a really good, you know, battle between Kendrick and Cole since they always get been compared. Really, it would have been cool to actually just see them, you know, battle it out as long as they didn't resort to violence, obviously. Um, but you know, Drake put up on himself, 
two release push-ups, which I thought was a really good disc because, you know, he came up through the weekend, Metro, Future, I think ASAP Rocky, obviously Kendrick, uh, Rick Ross. So he came after a lot of people. And, you know, he has some good um, um, good lines as well, too. Metro shut your whole ass up and make some drums. He even, um, you know, mentioned Kendrick's size and shoe size and, you know, like the whole body, uh, bodyguard like Whitney. What's the prince to a son? You a, What's the prince to a king? You a son. He has some really good lines in there, you know, like Top Given 50, like the Swifties and like the Marine 5 thing, which was Marine 5 thing, which, by the way, Drake, aren't you the type of person where you have been kind of chasing hits yourself as well, too, and kind of doing these pop collabs? Like, I don't think you're in the mood to talk, but whatever. The song was fired, the, the beat was fired, the aggression, the flows, and how he came after everybody was really good. And it was a worthwhile response to like that for Kendrick. But then he took it upon himself to make another song, but use Snoop Dogg and Tupac AIs against him. So it was like some modern fucking puppet master shit. What a vile trick. Tarutobi, tell me, does this summoning jutsu mean we're being forced to battle against you whenever you live? There's always war. <laughs> it's been an interesting beef, so I'm kind of interested to just see how things are kind of gonna go down from here. So we'll see. We will definitely see. I will say, Drake, you're definitely grimy for that shit with using the AI and using Pac and, and Snoop. Even Snoop was like, what the fuck is going on? I, I, what, what, who? They did what? I don't know, but I, I'm here for it. As long as it doesn't resort to violence, y'all can beef it out. As long as it get, we get some good, great ass music from it, I don't mind. As far as me is concerned, my personal life, I've been doing pretty good. I will say getting a job has been a little bit hard in these streets, but we still trying, okay? Um, I will say I saw Pink Panthers not too long ago. Uh, I went to go see her at Brooklyn Paramount, which was really, really fun. <laughs> Ice Spice, Kalella, and she also had BK the Ruler uh, opening for her, and it was really fire. I'll show some clips here and there. And it was a really great experience. Like, I also met some good friends as well, too. Uh, I mean, I met some people along the line as well, too, and it was really fun. I mean, I will say uh, it was a little bit of some, uh, some controversy, not controversy, but a little bit of some, like, confrontational shit going on like with people pushing into each other some people were fighting because they wanted to get online and they wanted to get into front and i'm like listen i love pimp panthers too but like let's fucking chillax like come on now like it's not that fucking deep you feel me but still i really enjoyed pimp panthers's performance i did love pk the ruler's performance i think they really did a great ass job and you know shit these are artists that i respect and i love and i listen to their music very vividly and very heavily especially pink panthers so yeah i'm really proud and i'm really happy for her that she's gotten so big into her career uh, from just knowing her from 2022, I mean 2021 to now, it's like night and day, you know what I mean? So, you know, shout big ups to, you know, Pink Panthers for that shit. I'm also trying to also think, uh, I've been, you know, obviously listening, uh, just also just music, you know, like what I just mentioned earlier, a lot of albums have come out over the past, you know, the Doja Cat uh, Deluxe was really, really fire. Um, the J. Cole project was really cool. The, the Drake Diss thing was really cool. I'm trying to also think that the Metro Boomin, like the other album that came out, um, was fine. Like I didn't really like it as like the original uh, "We Don't Trust You," but the, the "We Still Don't Trust You" I don't really fuck with that one like that. So it is what it is. Um, outside of that, like I'm trying to like really like think. Like I've been listening to a lot of Persona music. I'm not even gonna lie because the Persona is like my DNA at this point. Like I'm not even gonna lie. I've been listening to a lot of Concrete Boys as well too. I've been listening to some Lucky. Uh, Beyonce's Cowboy Carter was really fire. So obviously, if you haven't got on that, you need to go get on that because. Beyonce is fucking Beyonce, like, come on now, like, let's literally keep it a buck. And that's really much it as far as music is concerned, like, my life is concerned, just, you know, um, I, I'm going to a party very soon, uh, an R&B, like, uh, a 90s party that's in Brooklyn, so that's going to be really fun. But here, you know, it's getting there, we're definitely getting there, we're getting some length here and there, you know, I think it's like my seventh or eighth month, you know, having these locks in, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, I've been, you know, kind of working out, doing with it, we Fit Trainer, not Wii Fit Trainer, oh. Uh, um, it's the Ring Fit Adventure uh, for the Switch, and I thought that like that's a really fire, uh, a fire, fire, fire workout game. If you guys you know need to get in shape, you can't really go to the gym, go get that game. It's a really fire game. Outside of that, that's really me. Uh, music is on the way. Music is coming soon. I got an EP that I'm, you know I'm working on at the very moment. So that's really that's been fire. I've been going out with some friends and uh, just you know trying to like get myself out there. You know, put myself out there as a musician. So you know, it's been hard past few few four to five months after graduating, but we're trying to do the best we can. So that's all I got for y'all. 
Let me know what you guys going on for your life. You know, what do you guys think about this Drake uh, and Kendrick Lamar beef? What have you guys been listening to? What have you been watching? What have you been tuning into? What's going on with your lives? Anything new? Uh, you know, we'll definitely come back with a little bit more content, a little more vlogs. You know, follow me on my socials on Instagram, uh, TikTok, and Twitter. I'm definitely active on those. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.